this is like something to help, you know? Yeah. But if we look at the way it is now, like look at the substance terms of the falling a depressant. Look at the what it means just on its own. Depressant, depressing. Like you know, this is this is going to be your life. So yep. That's how you continue on this. Depressing. That's, that's right. So already kind of like it's a little fun little thing to look at. It's a depressant. Alcohol is actually far worse than weed. That's why, I, to this day, you know, as a consumer, I still think that marijuana should be legal and alcohol should be illegal because, again, alcohol is actually worse because it'll damage your liver. It's more habit forming than marijuana if you, believe, if you think about it. it is. Marijuana is not, not habit forming as much as alcohol is, you know, if it's hard liquor, beer, you know, weed is weed, but alcohol, there's wine, there's, let's say you want, you know, a shot of vodka or rum, rum and coke, um, a strawberry daiquiri, a mint tulip, these are all alcoholic drinks and, you know, if you get up to an addict or whatnot, they will be on that shit like, like, like a fat kid on cake. It's true! Uh, I'm not making this up, listen. Talk to Britney Beers! And she knows the score. She's a, she's a consumer big time, I mean, look at her. She's got party written all over her. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, for those who have just tuned in, uh, Chris Masters has defeated Scott Pilgrim via Masterlock. Wouldn't let him go. And to give you a bit of a spoiler for Bound for Glory, the Aces and Eights team has already been revealed as the lead, the ring leader, Jeff Jarrett, Luke Gallows, Gerald Briscoe from Ring of Honor, and Mike Knox. These are obviously former WWE superstars. Now, how in the hell is Masters still able to compete here on Fantasy Pro Wrestling, let alone have dibs with aces and eights? The Bound for Glory pay-per-view has started about 24 minutes ago. And... The event's not going to end until 11 o'clock tonight, folks, but we go off the air by 10, 10.30. So we asked you folks, how on earth is Masters doing it? Find out, ladies and gentlemen, on this broadcast. We'll tell you what really did happen at Bound for Glory. Because it's tonight, ladies and gentlemen, TNA's version of WrestleMania. Oh, nice. Northern Lights suplex there by Shylaw. Two count. A very big close-up. On the former two-time women's champion, Melissa Coutier. Double teamed by the champions. Soul Calibur 4 damaged the knees of Brittany Mears. What a hell of a match that was, ladies and gentlemen, for the women's championship match. Coutier had Alicia by her titty balls. But somehow, some way, a momentum shift occurred. A pinfall. One, two, three. Alicia now is a five-time. God knows how many times I've lost track of count. More than possibly five-time women's champion, the ring veteran Alicia. And look at this, would you? Super kick right in the face of the former two-timer. Also, ladies and gentlemen, on this broadcast, still to come, a four-corner match. Winger, Kit Trustworthy, the next one, Randy Orton, and Vicious Jeremy. We haven't seen Vicious Jeremy or heard of him the entire broadcast, but he will be here present and accounted for, because that's Supercard 10 on Remembrance Day. Winger is putting a lot on the line. Perhaps Captain Obvious Winger will launch a pay-per-view specifically and solely for No Mercy. Oh my goodness, almost a three count. Melissa is fighting back. Good job. So Captain Obvious, what is your what are your thoughts and your opinion on the perhaps No Mercy pay-per-view? It's gonna be 
caught. It is definitely going to be something unique and perhaps hot. We do have Divas. Jersey Jackson has signed with No Mercy as the only Diva that is prepared to fight women men. Now that's hot, Captain. Meanwhile, this amazing competitive tag team battle. Non-title match, folks. Please let you know the women's tag team town are not on the line, but they might at Supercar 10, Sunday, November 11th. In about four weeks, a good month. It's the 14th of October. Uh, Still got plenty of time, folks. Before we go on to our main event, ladies and gentlemen, uh, do we still have our intermission? We have an extended intermission for those of you who like to, uh, you know, peruse around the TH2 grounds, talk to some superstars that have just won the match or lost the match. <laughs> and of course, you can also speak to, uh, I don't want to say this, but I'm told to. You can also speak to the next one, Randy Orton, and gather his thoughts about how he won the match against Shawn Michaels, ending the career of one Ash they caught Shawn Michaels at death row in the it sucks, Captain Obvious, because we have to deal with that, that, that fucker. I wanted Shawn Michaels to continue his extension of his contract, but Randy took it like a snake that he is. I mean, isn't he the apex predator? What does that mean? The apex predator. The viper. He's a snake. And he just took Shawn Michaels' career, slithering his way. That's what he did. And he's going to be in that big main event match tonight. Oh, yeah. Free for all, one fall to a finish. That comes up later on this broadcast, right after their long intermission. Woo! Yeah, today was our, um... We had a housewarming party at my uncle's place. So this is two weeks in a row now that I've been to my uncle's place and... It was a lot of fun, man. A lot of people were there, families. People I don't even know. And we were playing Mario Brothers 3 on the Wii, yeah? Using a GameCube controller. So Nintendo GameCube controller on a Wii. And then these, and then this one kid who happens to be my cousin's cousin's kid, no relation to me or anything at all. He doesn't even know the Super Mario Brothers. I'm like, excuse me. It's like, I, I, I have an Xbox 360 at home. And he's like, about seven years old, maybe? Eight years old? Mm -hmm. And I'm like, you don't even know Mario Brothers? I'm like, what's up, man? There be no fucking 360, you batch. He plays, you and he plays like, uh, Grand Theft Auto and, uh... Um, even I, even I could understand that. Of course, because he came from that generation. This kid came from, like, 2005, 2006, when, like, Xbox 360 just, just came out on the market. It's bizarre. How can anybody not know Mario Brothers? It's pretty, it's pretty bad. Oh shit! One second, bro. One second. Johnny Bob and Lewis stepped out for